them. And there's the trophy bearing the name of the great Paul Hunter, who's nearly this event as well. Paul who won the first staging of the German Open Pro-Am here in Phillips in 2004. And that's the tournament has become this Paul Hunter Classic named in his honour. So it's still best Thank to Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Gerald it's the Green. first frame. Jared Green Still, to Joe Johnson alongside me. Well, it's a tough assignment, Joe, and not least because, of course, he hasn't played on this uh, main table yet. Yeah, so I was just about to say that uh, this, the television cameras are here now for Gerard Green. It could make a difference. Hasn't played on this table, as you said. Ronnie O'Sullivan, well, just over an hour and a half ago. Played on this table. Tough match. Mark Selby came through it though, played excellent snooker. So did Mark. Let's see if this one is as good. Well, whatever happens here, Gerald Green will uh, take great confidence from the week. He needed some confidence on board, having slipped down the rankings a little, so he'll be relishing this this evening, I'm sure. Nice to see him taking on that difficult red. Could so easily have played off the pack safe. Such a great, great place to come and play snooker, Germany. So passionately supported, but respectfully as well. Oh, big target, the brown. And this looks pretty good. Just come out. Great pot. Just a little far for the yellow. Difficult pot on the yellow. Gives him perfect position on the red. Three. He's been in business-like mode, hasn't he, this weekend? He's here to do a job, really applied himself against Mark Selby in that semi-final. And here he is, He's 21 been. years into his professional career, still seems to be as good as ever. 12. Totally agree with that. Okay, that red bouncing off the cushion. Available to the middle. For a moment, didn't look as though it was on one. A surprising miss. Ronnie O'Sullivan, 19. I don't think he missed an easy ball this afternoon. One. So Gerard Green opens his account. This is the red that Ronnie missed. Five. And if you are going to put Ronnie O'Sullivan under pressure, 
You've got to punish the mistakes. Thank you. Six. Well, it's 16 years since his only victory over O'Sullivan. That was in the 1997 British Open. Although it's uh, six years since they played at all. Yep, that's okay. That little rub on the reds was just enough. Good positional shot. He's not won a professional title in his career, Gerard Green, but he did win the gold medal at the World Games here in Germany, Duisburg it was, 2005. The World Games is for sports not in the Olympic Games. Indeed, just recently it was held out in Colombia. It was won by Adita Mater of India. Yes, yeah, so that was a little careless of Gerard. Had an easy red and left himself 21. fairly straight on the black. Tough red to the middle now. And that he brought on himself, I'm afraid. Jared Green, 21. <laughs> it was the red previous, it was an easy red. Just finished two straight on the black. Oh, Sullivan back in, and he'll have forgotten about that red he missed into the middle. a kick and very nearly missed the red fourteen fifteen this angle on the blue to go into them. Didn't quite catch them full enough though. 20. Trying to get in behind the green, and this is pretty good. Excellent shot. Well, an example there of what he's been doing all tournament. You know, it went wrong, the split, but he didn't huff and puff about it. He got down, he played a really good safety. He's played disciplined snooker this weekend. Kiss on the blue, and he's left a half chance for Ronnie O'Sullivan. Can take it to the right or left pocket. No attempt at the pot. that red oh, can you see enough of it Let's 
certainly can. Didn't quite hold that cue ball as he would have liked. This has worked out nice. Didn't play that, Eight. but deserved to be on a red for playing the black so positively. Again, no applause from the crowd, but that was a good shot. Nine. They must be used to all the good shots that he plays. Switch there to left handed. I've got to mention it. He's just so natural with it. And that's worked out well as well. So he's 40 points in front. He only needs this and a colour. Applause for frame ball. Twenty nine. Thirty. Needed a couple of chances, Ronnie O'Sullivan. No mistake in this second chance. But Gerard Green did have his chance, and he's got to take him when they come his way. Thirty six. I know it stayed in the obvious, but he's playing probably one of the best players that's ever lived. He's got to punish him when he does get a chance. Well, it's one down, three to go. For the world champion. He really looks in the mood, though, doesn't he? It's going to be very hard for anyone to stop him, frankly. It's Gerald Green who's got to try and do that. But the world champion is a frame to the good here. In Germany, he leads the Paul Hunter Classic final, 1-0. Oh, the left-handed break. <laughs> Cue ball tight under the ball cushion. Difficult to do that right-handed. Never mind left. And yet, that's the shot he plays. Every time he breaks, he breaks left-handed. Has done for quite a while now. No way back to balk. The Gerard Green, so just trying to play the containing safety shot. That's another clever safety from Ronnie O'Sullivan, getting that cue ball over to the right side of the table. Good shot. Managed by Ronnie O'Sullivan.
Oh, what a good kiss. Covered the red over the left corner. Not quite a snooker, but still trouble. have to get this one if he goes for it. Is there any doubt? Great pop. Knew he was leaving reds on. Had he missed it? One. Well, he's trying to hold for the black, kissing the red. Left-handed again. That was a tough one. Deep screw with right-hand side on the cue ball. Tough shot. So is this one for Gerard Green. Got to get this. Otherwise he'll be leaving reds on. Yes, good shot. That took some nerve. One. Now will he go into them at speed? Well he attempted to but he didn't catch them full enough. Eight. Jared Green, eight. Yes, good safety. He played that shot. Played to pop the red in the middle, but played that cue ball there just in case. Here's a shot previously, just didn't catch them reds full enough. Close was that, but it's got to be called a miss. Sure. Marcel Eckhart is the referee, a German official. You know you're getting older when the referees are getting younger. He's younger than the two players, that's for sure. Jared? Yep, thank you. So, same shot again, trying to land up to that red behind the black. I think the crowd thought he was going for the red over the middle at one stage. And that's the same shot. Seven. Just sliding a little as it comes off that side cushion. Jared. 
Fellow name is Jared Green Saddle. Yes, he's scared of hitting the red over the middle pocket. Doesn't want to catch that. But he needs to get a little closer to it. How close is that? So, fourth attempt. This time he hits it. It was a little pacey, and he caught that a little fuller, and would have pushed the red on. And settle for that one, Gerard. I think he's got the snooker. Maybe he can just nick that end red. Oh, enough the red. Well, what can you say? <coughs> Very unfortunate for Gerard Green. The Rania Sullivan won. Well, that's how sorry he is. Well, as if it isn't hard enough playing Ronnie O'Sullivan, just a little bit of fortune goes his way here. Just saw him hold his hand up. Indeed, uh, Gerald Green was unlucky. They played ten years ago in the British Open quarter-finals, four each, and he was well-placed to win, went in off in the decider to Gerald Green. And O'Sullivan beat him 5-4. Well, if anybody tells you that Ronnie O'Sullivan can't play safe, just look at that for a shot. Forcing Gerard to take this red on. How close was that? So unfortunate. One. Yeah, it just hung on, didn't it? And uh, it's given us Solomon a great chance now to score. Twenty-four. Twenty-five. Choice of pink or black. Thirty-one. Thirty-two. All these reds now go in sequence. Thirty-nine. Forty. 
Well, unusually for Ronnie O'Sullivan, he's reached a, a final without making a century in the tournament. It'll come, David. It could come here. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. This could be the, the so. moment. Last week at Doncaster in the previous European Tour event, he made his 700th. Made another one after that, so 701, 74 behind Stephen Hendry on the all-time list. 55, 56, 63. So, this to secure the frame. Seventy-one. Well, he's a delight to watch, Ronnie O'Sullivan. You've got to say, in this sort of position, he, everyone in the game, in the pro game, can make centuries, but no one quite makes them like him. It's the stylish way he does it. Seventy-nine. Eighty. Yes, he just sees the shot and plays it. 87. Without any outside interferences. 89. Now, it's going to have to be all the way around the table. 90. Missed the blue. Oh, always a big 90. ball, that blue. Well, what's it going to be? Full length of the table, double? What else? 92. Well, it's not a century after that, but uh, 92. Classy effort. Gerard Green, he went for that tough red. It just hung on the lip of the jaws of the pocket. And Ronnie O'Sullivan stepped in with the 92 break. He leads the final now by two frames to nil. It's not bad. Can't see him taking the red on. Though you never know. He's got shots we don't think about when he was Sullivan. Left a half chance for Gerard Green here. Wasn't easy. And again, it's not too bad. This is a difficult pot to the middle. Cue ball going into the cluster. Yes, using the pack of reds to try and hold the cue ball. with a little bit more speed on that cue ball.
and a nice angle on the black to disturb the reds just checking there's no plants on has it got there? Might just be able to drop it in the middle. And we could. And now there it is mercy. Yes, well he has a lot of fans of course around the world. One of them and Taylor celebrating his 70th birthday today. Apparently can't eat until the final's over. Well, it might not be too long until you get stuck into the birthday cake. Because this is looking ominous. in the red to gain position on the black Sixty-one. Well, black and one more red should seal it. A master at work. Great snooker. Oh. Well, that was a horrendous kick. Look where the cue ball's finished. Well, it's only one snooker needed, and uh, who knows? That could be a big moment. Absolutely. He's got to play on. Good pace on the cue ball. This time it's Ronnie O'Sullivan's turn to be a little fortunate, bringing that red up over the middle pocket. This is the black that he missed. Well, he got a horrendous kick, you've got to say. Couldn't really call it a miss. More like a liberty. But that should be it. Put all his eggs in one basket there, Gerard. Eight. 
nine. This is, of course, the Paul Hunter Classic. Ronnie knew Paul really well. They played on the junior circuit together. He was about uh, three years older than Paul and uh, played him famously in the final of the Masters 16. at Wembley 2004, where he led 7-2. Paul Hunter came back to win 10-9. That was uh, to complete a hat-trick of famous comebacks in the Masters final. And it was, I was there, it was a, just a terrific atmosphere. 22. <coughs> between two great entertainers. 23. Yes, he would certainly have been world champion one day, Paul Hunter, if he hadn't have died so prematurely. Another great pot, and what a lovely, lovely man he was. Well, what he always did was put on a show, and that's what Ronnie O'Sullivan has done here. And he's going to be just one frame away from becoming champion. He just can't stop potting balls, can he? Well, but for the kick, I'm sure it would have been a century. Maybe that'll come in the frame he needs to become champion. 48. It's been two breaks that have given him this three-frame lead. <laughs> Terrific stuff once again from the rocket. Ronnie O'Sullivan is dominating this final. He leads 3-0. He needs one more and he will be champion. So, as I say, one more frame required. We'll see if he can do it in frame four. That'll be after the break. And uh, he's virtually rubber stamped. Well, he has done his participation in the grand finals. You have to finish in the top 24 in the order of merit. Gerald Green was 62nd coming into the tournament, but he's, he's going to rock it up into the top 10, whatever happens here. But O'Sullivan clearly a heavy favourite now. Again, he was so close to that. He's been. <laughs> slightest fraction look how close this was thought it was in well it was worth a double or so he thought he's finished up with a good angle on the green to go into them for the loser right? I'm surprised he played that four but he's left Five. a nice angle on the black to go into them now, is he on one looks like he is one to the left corner You can't quite get your breath, can you? <laughs> it's incredible stuff, really. This is why they put a young referee on it. I think some of the older ones might <laughs> have struggled to keep up round the table. Yes, he's, Gerard Green, I feel sorry for. He's missed a couple of reds by the absolute fraction of fractions. And it's cost him frames. Well, that last one... Cost him the match. 15. 16. Oh, we screwed it a little, but it doesn't seem to matter. Look at the pot success. 97%. Well, 
Well, none of these stats are going to make happy reading for Gerard, are they? But uh, as I say, O'Sullivan just too good. Twenty-four. Well, if anything, Gerard can take consolation that whoever he played in this form, I think he'd whitewash anybody in this form. It's just one shot snooker from him. Well, he's always had a sort of love-hate relationship with snooker, but when he's in love with it, then watch out. Well, as I say, it's not going to get any better, is it, from Gerald's point of view? The stats: hundred balls potted, plays eight. Thirty-seven. Thirty-two. Thirty-three. He's won before in Germany, the German Masters at Tempodrome, 2012. 43. <coughs> and he's getting closer now to winning this title. 43. Again, that was a good positional shot he played, 50. giving himself a chance of three reds. You just kind of know he's going to finish with a century, don't you? You certainly wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> Again, enough for red. Another excellent positional shot. Just needs the red. Oh, this has been just brilliant. And that's because Ronnie O'Sullivan is just brilliant. He is the jewel in snooker's crown, no doubt about that. Gerald Green's had a terrific 71. tournament. Take a lot of confidence on board for the rest of the season now. And he was looking for some coming here. But what can you do in the face of this? Over 300 points without reply. 79. Yeah, full marks to Gerard Green, though. He's attacked the game. He's gone for his shots. OK, it's cost him, but... He was positive. 84. 85. Now, nice little cannon here to finish off with 100. Got to catch it half ball. Just like that. Well, hasn't made one in the tournament, but last frame looks like it's going to happen. Well, you called it, David. 93. And he's going to... Prove you right. Ninety six. Ninety eight. Wait for the cheer when this green goes in. Yeah, superb. Crowd absolutely love it. 
And why shouldn't they? We do. <laughs> Using the angles of the middle pocket to gain position. Brilliant. Hundred and ten to cap, a terrific performance, a terrific weekend for the world champion Ronnie O'Sullivan, who to the, to the delight of this packed crowd are on their feet now here in Fur has won the Paul Hunter Classic. Off comes the tip. Job done. He beats Gerard Green by four frames to nil. Rolf Kalb uh, is going to take charge of the presentation for us and he'll be translating the questions he asks the players back into German. And one of Paul Hunter's best friends is going to uh, present the trophy. That's when they stop applauding. But he deserves this, that it was a terrific display. He's won in less than an hour, about 50 minutes all told. Jared, of course, nobody is happy being whitewashed in the final, uh, but still, congratulations, because that's your best result since a long time. I think you played a great tournament, and uh, at the end, you must be happy with the three days here in Fort. Yeah, it's been a good couple of days. Uh, unfortunately, Ronnie put everything in sight against me, which is really enjoyable, but no, I had a, I had a great time. Er sagt also, er hatte eine tolle Zeit hier in äh, Fürth. Äh, auch das Finale hat ihm Spaß gemacht und natürlich sein Erfolg. Meine Damen und Herren, der Vize-Champion, Gerard Green. Congratulations. Ronnie, congratulations. I know you always find something which could have been done better, but I think there's not, not much what you could have done better in this final. Uh, no, I just want to congratulate Gerard on a, you know, he's had a brilliant tournament. Um, I grew up with Gerard as an amateur, so I know how good a player he is, and we used to have great battles as an amateur. And uh, so he's had a really good tournament, so well done to Gerard. Um, but yeah, I, I just played well in the final. I didn't really miss much that I went for. Got a bit of luck, which helps, and uh, and I scored pretty good. So yeah, I'm happy. Also, er ist zufrieden. Sagt Glückwunsch auch an Gerard, den er schon als Junior kennt, und sagt naja. Ich habe ein bisschen Glück gehabt vielleicht, aber ich habe vieles richtig gemacht und vor allem immer gut gepunktet. Ronnie, you said uh, you would like snooker pur when you uh, pure snooker when you said uh, you would play a few tournaments, some tournaments. I think a surrounding like that is that pure snooker for you, a tournament like that. Yeah, well, you, I mean, it's, it's, you're playing, I mean, today we played like four matches and Friday I played three matches, so you get a lot of snooker in a short amount of time. So for me, that's really good because I just want to play, whether it's World Championship, PTC or playing at home, you know, it's just the game that we love. So the hanging around, I don't really like. So these, these tournaments are good for me because it's just like good practice, really. Yeah, sagt, these Turniere sind toll für ihn, weil er liebt es natürlich nicht herumzuhängen und hier drei oder vier Matches am Tag, das macht richtig Spaß, denn es ist der Sport, es ist Snooker, was er liebt und deshalb will er nicht rumsitzen, sondern Snooker spielen. Ronnie O'Sullivan, congratulations!
So just the uh, trophy presentations then remain. Meine Damen und Herren, bitte begrüßen Sie für die Siegerehrung den Oberbürgermeister der Stadt Fürth, Dr. Thomas Jung, dann Herrn Michael Schüller, Center Manager Erlangen Arkaden und schließlich den besten Freund von Paul Hunter, der heute zum zehnjährigen Jubiläum dieses Turnieres hier ist, um die Trophäe zu überreichen, Mohamed Naim. So Dr. Thomas Jung, the Mayor of Fürth. Michael Schuler from the sponsors Arcade and Hamid Naim, who was uh, a great friend of Paul Hunter's, is going to present the trophy. And of course, he's got Paul's uh, image on it, which is a lovely thing for Ronnie to take back home with him. Finalist and damit der Vize Champion beim Arcade Paul Hunter Classic 2013, Jared Green. Well, it's been a good tournament for Gerard Green. He takes back 12,000 euro and plenty of confidence ahead of the remainder of the season. The 2000 Ranglisten Punkte, the 25,000 euro Siegprämie, and vor allem the trophy bekommt der Sieger der Arcaden Paul Hunter Classic Champion 2013, Ronnie O'Sullivan. But 21 years into his professional career, I don't think there's much doubt that at his best, Ronnie O'Sullivan is still the best. And he proved it again here this evening. It wasn't a long final, but what an impressive performance. Finished with his century, first of the tournament. He's the Paul Under Classic champion in 2013. Well, they loved every minute of it. And they'll be back next year, I'm sure. And there's more snooker coming Germany before then, of course. Our next snooker, September the 2nd, it's something a little different. It's the World Six Reds Championship, which is as it sounds. Six Reds rather than 15. Some big names in that, Judd Trump, Neil Robertson, Mark Selby, Sean Murphy, Stephen Maguire, John Higgins, Ricky Walden, several more as well. So I hope we, you'll join us for that. But from the whole team at the Paul Hunter Classic, Walden, Ronnie O'Sullivan, and good night.